Hey everyone, Brandon here with Galway Precision. So we're gonna do a quick video on the TP9 SF that we emailed the other day and I posted pictures and the internet lost its mind. So what we do is we send the slide over to our machine shop, CJT Machine. We'll use our Paragon Devil's Tongue as a pointer. They go in, they mill to the same depth as the rear sight channel, all right? Why do we go that low? Go any lower, you'll break into the slide pocket. That's a big no-no. You break into the slide pocket, dirt, debris, stuff can get in there. Right here, it's not going to affect anything. This pocket here that you're seeing, you know what this is? That's the pin that holds your extractor in place. So the optic will be the part that keeps it in place. <clears throat> so that it's properly tensioned and keeps your extractor in place. Already, I'm getting a ton of questions. Can you do it to this model, that model, this model? We can do it to any of them that don't, I'm going to say this twice, don't have a decocker. If you got a decocker, we are working on a uh, rear sight optic mount plate. But as you can see, mounts just nicely. And someone brought up, well, I don't think that'll seal electrical tape, my friends. So uh, you send yours in, we do this. There will be a gasket on the bottom of the optic to protect the battery if it's open on the bottom. So, the biggest question is, can we do the, this to the Elite? Yes, we can. And I'm going to show you how and why. All right, now if you look, I've got our Elite slide up to the customer's SF. Look at that. The exact same in the back. Internally, exactly the same. So, yes, we can put an optic in front of the rear sight. You can then go to Warren Tactical. I need to get a hold of him and let him know. Um, we may need to buy in bulk some of his uh, suppressor height sights so we can go ahead and have them on hand for you guys to buy <clears throat> when you start sending your slides through. But as you can see, we can do the same thing. The only thing you're going to lose is your loaded chamber indicator. Um, and that's it. I mean, we can do it. Trigicon, Hollow Sun... We can do it for the Burris Vortex footprint. We can do it for the Shield J Point footprint. You name it, we can do it. All right, so it is doable. It can be done without the plate system, so you don't have to scramble around and try and find a plate system. And, uh, sorry. As soon as we start taking in-house work again after the COVID stuff passes by, um, because again, I have to keep reminding people. Guys, I've got crowns and I'm on an immunosuppressor. I can't be around the virus. And I'm the one who handles all this stuff when it comes through. So we're hoping in about four weeks, we'll start letting slides and stuff come back in. Um, plus, if they uh, shut down North Carolina like they're starting to do state by state, we won't be able to drive them over to our machine shop to get them milled. So that is only a temporary thing. Yeah, I know. Kind of sucks. I post to this cool stuff we're doing and now we can't do it right now. But it's just a minor temporary inconvenience. All right, guys, you know, everything will go back to normal once this starts calming down some. Uh, but I personally don't want to die. So <laughs> I don't, I don't want to be exposed to something that can already compromise my already compromised immune system. Plus, no telling what the army shot me full of when I was in. But anyway, so yeah, we can do it to the elite, guys. Uh, we can do it to any of them. If you happen to buy a subcompact that's uh, not optics ready, we can do it to it too. So, just wanted to give you guys a heads up, show you what all we can do now with the uh, TP9s without having to worry about the plate system or anything else. So, uh, that's going to wrap this one up. If you guys got any questions, feel free to email me at tech, that's Tango Echo Charlie Hotel at GallowayPrecision.com. Be sure to go down into the description and follow the links to the rest of our social media. Uh, be sure on YouTube to hear, like, comment, and subscribe below. Uh, go down into the description and follow us at Firearms Friendly, Full30, GunStreamer, Facebook, Instagram, and Vimeo. And as always, be safe, be accurate, and God bless.